CJ Mertz, you call yourself, or the chiropractic business calls you, the world's number one health coach. What does that mean, and how did you get that title? Well, it's probably because of the amount of traveling that I do and the amount of educating that I do to the public on health and well-being. That, that, that's where it came from. As a chiropractor for many years, you're still yes. very young, dealing with Americans, dealing with people from all over North America. What is it that we don't understand about the way our system works? And that's starting with the brain, but also the nerve, nervous mm. system. What is it that we just aren't getting? I think we've lost the concept that the power that made our bodies heals our bodies. And we need to be reminded of that, that we have an incredible strength within us to heal if that can flow properly. Let's talk about what made us and then what can heal us so that we really do understand. I've always believed, and I think you do too, mm -hmm. that information and awareness is what's going to help us survive. Absolutely. If you take a look even at the simplest story that we know of an egg that gets fertilized and then winds up dividing and dividing and suddenly makes this beautiful human being, you and I. How did that happen? What was the power that made that happen? And I think we forget that that power is still with us. Yeah. You know, and what happens is that power gets defined within the brain as we now are adults, actually even at birth, we have a brain and a spinal cord and that power flows down through that spinal cord and goes out the nerves. I just had that image of the brain and the spinal cord just all by itself and, and the strength and the power within. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is the nervous system? Well. There's a few different uh, areas of the nervous system. There's the central nervous system, which is the brain and spinal cord, and then the peripheral nervous system, which are those nerves that come off the spinal cord in between the vertebra of the spine that go to every aspect of your body. You have 70 trillion cells in your body, and the brain is connected to every one of them. Wow. All right. So how can we use the information that you're going to give us now and at Convocation Hall tonight, how can we use some of that information to help ourselves heal? Because between being created and dying, we're doing an awful lot of damage to ourselves as we live what we hope is a fun-filled yes. but quality-filled life. I'm glad you said fun-filled. Yeah, I you gotta have fun. put too much stress yeah. on, our, uh, on our bodies anyhow. I think that um, Deepak Chopra probably said it best that our bodies replace themselves every 90 days. We used to think it was every seven years. Every 90 days our body are completely replacing themselves and that's through the nervous system. So if that power is shut off somewhere, the body's not replacing itself properly, that really is the foundation for sickness. How do you know that some of that, that movement has been cut off? How do you know that the, the central nervous system, the, the, you know, the, the uh, tributaries, yes. how do you know that that's not working? In chiropractic, there's a, a phrase that we use, and it's so simple. It says, posture is the window. Everybody. That's right, everybody. <laughs> As we all do. We... <laughs> yes. Posture is the window to the spine and nervous system. So if your posture is off, there's an extreme likelihood that your spine and nervous system is off, and the nervous system is what carries the power to the cells. Can one bring on the other? If you have poor posture, if you think about it, you are cutting off the supply of whatever. If you're, if you're slumped like this, things aren't moving the way they should. If you're upright, things would flow better. That's right. Now, there are many things that affect our posture. Actually, the birthing process is one of the number one effects on our spine. So how you Nine are born? Nine out of ten people actually... Uh, the, the birthing process itself can cause that little neck to stretch twice its normal length before the whole body comes out. There's what's called subluxation. That's actually what causes the postural imbalances. That's when a bone is out of alignment in the spine, putting pressure on the nerves, cutting off that life force to the cells. Subluxation will be a household word in five years right now. Like cholesterol, people didn't know about it 25 years now. Now everybody, subluxation will be a household word and people will know if there's subluxation in my spine, it's shutting the power off to somewhere in my body. Hmm. You're leading us in a direction, and I think I understand where you're going now, and it's, it's back to, or for the first time, to chiropractic care. And I know that not every Canadian understands how it fits in to their lives. Some hmm. people are afraid of it. Some people don't understand it. Uh, it is a bona fide practice that has helped an awful lot of people. Hmm. Let's talk about that. Is that one yes. way to help the flow of energy and, and help the central nervous system work properly? Yes. It's, it's part of a whole integrated way of looking at turning your power on. Yeah. And so that's what we want to do. We want to keep our power on. And I want to say this at least one more time. We can heal ourselves. Yeah. 
that we have to empower ourselves to know the body can heal itself. So what's the first step? And I ask this of many okay. of my guests because I want to know how I can start down the path to healing. All right. So if we were to take a look at this from the standpoint of the spine and work from there, we need to know that the spine, just like our teeth, should be maintained throughout our life. That's why we should get regular checks up, checkups on our teeth. We did not ever get taught that, that our spine should actually be maintained from birth. So the average age of a person going to a chiropractor is 32 to 35 years old the first time in the door. And it's usually born of necessity where they can barely course, walk or move. Of course. Yeah. And so chiropractic's most powerful use is prevention. But it starts from crisis because people come in with all types of problems happening in their body. They've been medicated for months or years and the medication isn't working anymore or didn't work. And so now they're looking back inward. They go to the chiropractor. The chiropractor finds subluxation in the spine. Subluxation. And adjusts it. Now, an adjustment is the only known thing that corrects subluxation. Mm -hmm. And it's usually a series of adjustments because the person's been out of alignment for years and the, didn't even know it. I'm going to play devil's advocate. A lot of people watching, or some, mm -hmm. right now might be thinking, this doesn't sound right. This sounds dangerous to... to, to avoid or or not use prescription drugs or or to to take this this route or this path and forget everything else no i, I i'm not even you're talking about working yeah, in conjunction i am I'm, I'm not really saying that i'm saying that what has happened um, as a society worldwide our first response is to take a drug yeah. and most even medical doctors would tell you that the body's never deficient in medication yeah. You see, so why would we put it in our body? That might be the second or third or fourth thing to consider, but not the first. And I think the reason why we do that is we've forgotten the power. You believe that healthy nerve flow, pure foods, pure water, and regular exercise provide everything that is essential to good health. Yes. Wow. Well, you, if you and I had peanut butter for lunch today, your body would take that peanut butter and make it work perfectly for you, yeah. and me too, and in two different ways. Yeah. That's the power of the nervous system, and as long as it's flowing, our bodies can be healthy and well. The tip of the iceberg, and if you want to see the full iceberg, uh, join uh, our guest tonight at 7.30, Convocation Hall, U of T, uh, and you will be talking to laypersons like yes, myself. Yes. And there will be representatives of the medical practice there as well. What level yes. of health are you playing at is the topic of discussion tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you for Good having me. Good to have you here. Thank you. It is 8.21. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.